So we've got a voicemail. This from Anonymous. Chose oh. not to say his name. I think he just kind of forgot to say his Aww. name. It's okay. I forgive you. Uh, regarding Android lag. This is a topic that comes up every once in a while. Anonymous, what do you have to say? Hey, guys. Huge fan of the show. Absolutely love it. You guys do a phenomenal job. Oh, thanks. I have a question or a bone to pick. I don't know which, but I would love some feedback on it. Bottom line is, is I was an iPhone user for a very long time, switched to Android a few years ago. I've been using Android ever since. And no matter the phone I've used, with the exception of the HTC One, um, a couple of years ago, I have found that Android tends to be laggy. And I've never had a Nexus phone. So what I'm kind of looking for is when I was on the iPhone, most of the lag was hidden by animations and fun little swirls and all that good stuff. Hmm. But there's lag. And I'm just wondering, what's the best experience for the least amount of lag? And is the Nexus experience going to eliminate it? Keep up the great work, guys. Really love the show. Good question. I this, am it's afraid. A compla- it's a common complaint, oh, by the way. I'm afraid to yeah. answer this because I've been having serious lag issues with the 6P lately. Really? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's just been hanging a lot. Um, I always thought, oh, well, maybe it's that way. You know, maybe a phone acts that way. Like on a Samsung phone, you have TouchWiz or mm-hmm. some sort of overlay running on top of everything else. Right, it's easy to blame that. It's right, easy it's to blame, easy to blame it's that. It's easy to blame the skin or the overlay mm-hmm. or whatever happens to be yeah. running on top and not the core. Oh, so then if if lag is such a such a common experience in Android, is it safe to say that Android's to blame? But iOS is laggy too, maybe. I, it, but is it, is <laughs> I, it, I, think the, I mean, oh, sorry. I wonder if it's, I mean, I don't know if, if the the question is, is the operating system to blame or is the lack of memory either yeah. in RAM or in disk space, you know, because I noticed like, so my my sad little Nexus 5, mm-hmm. which is still, which is, I now need to hook up to uh, jumper cables to get it to work <laughs> on a daily basis. No, still but, um, has the 5. It's still going, but. You're, um, you're me when I was when I was on the droid and yeah. I couldn't jump. Yes, I couldn't jump. I remember. Sh- anyways, anyways. Oh, no, I want to jump. It's not, it's not, it's, I wasn't, I wasn't paralyzed by, by, <laughs> by deciding. Choice. Like, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, but anyway, true. but, um, but I, what I've noticed is that when. Like I need to go in and clear the caches on my apps. I need to clear data off of it. Like yeah. when I'm running right. out of disk space, that's when it gets super laggy. Um, and so I think it has a lot to do with how much memory you have free, how much RAM you have on the phone. And maybe there's something inherent in the way the operating system uses that memory um, to cause that lag. You know, uh, I, that's been in my experience. Yeah, so. I would agree with that because every time, because I mean, we, we test a lot of devices mm-hmm. and all devices, almost all devices anyways, out of the box are lag free. You know what I mean? Of course. You you get they're them. You you barren. install them from from the from the ground up. They don't have any you know in muck. They're not mucked up with all of this extra storage used for things. You haven't installed all of your normal apps and everything, and everything seems fine. And new devices just kind of always feel that way. And then over time, it's like you live in them for so long, right. and it in. starts to starts to bog down. And that's I mean. Most devices well, that I've ever owned eventually kind of get to that point. So I guess that's a bummer, but I don't know if there's a solution for that. So that ties to something that I've been doing recently, which is you need to regularly look at your app draw yeah. and, and see, I haven't opened that app in three weeks, delete it. Like if you're not using an app, get it off your no, phone. You're right. it's, just, it's just taking up space. Or so. just get the next bit Robin and let it do it for you because exactly. that's what it does. Yeah. Oh, you haven't used that. You need more space. Here, we'll offload it, and it won't take up space. I was going to say, I actually saw this distinction between the Galaxy S6 and the Note 5, because the Note 5 has the same processor, Mm -hmm. but 4 gigs of RAM versus the GS6 has only 3. And, like, I know they're benchmarks, but the benchmark apps, you could see that the one with more RAM was clearly, like, it was just more polished. It, it felt like it was just a lot more room to run. Mm-hmm. Trying to find any sort of metaphor to explain it, but... Yeah, room to run. I'm I mean, wondering if, like, yeah. 4 gigabyte is now going to be the standard to, for running Android with or for running any right. operating but, system. But what I, but what I wonder is, even, you know, 4 gig might seem like a great solution or more memory rather yeah, might yeah, seem yeah. like a more solution but uh, a, a good really solution solving... but over time yeah. is it like we don't you don't really know that and i feel like no, no matter cause... what the amount of memory we have eventually yeah. those devices still end That's up kind true. of lagging and slowing down so i don't know so to answer anonymous's question cuz we just turned this into a discussion um no that's good nexus just try <laughs> out the nexus but do, but does nexus solve the problem no, more memory solves the problem. Yeah. yeah. 
So is maybe get a no five. Yeah. I rec we uh, make no qualms about the fact that we like Nexus devices and we recommend them. You know, we talk about them on They're the show okay. all the time. Yeah. Um, but do they solve this particular problem? I'm no. not sure that they necessarily no. do. It's a so, memory problem. But, but the them thing is about reasons. the Nexus is if you like to tinker, you can just go in and you can just, you yeah. know, root it and just get an app that lets you yeah. allocate your memory, like where everything yep. is going. Mm -hmm. You really need to. There you go. I hope that answers your question, Mr. Anonymous. If that is your leave your name next time. Let us know where you're from. You know, I think I think sometimes uh, people are just so excited to leave a voicemail. They're like, oh, I get to journey? talk and they forget. Really? That like, excited? Yeah. Oh yeah. They're like, woo! They're partying <laughs> when they leave a voicemail. Uh, at least I like to think that.